guys, welcome to the channel. I uh, just wanted to do a brief recap uh, of the QCKBF TOC uh, from November 6th through the 7th. Sorry for taking so long getting through all the footage, uh, but I've been on the road uh, with some other tournaments and stuff. But just wanted to recap day one. So we were fishing on Lake Gaston uh, early November, and I went up and pre-fished a couple, I think it was like a month before, and went to three different ramps and kind of figured that the one ramp that I felt the most comfortable with and the quality of fish that was there uh, was Poplar Creek. So Poplar Creek is where we ended up launching from. I think I had the most variety of rock on the shore, grass uh, mixed in around docks, and it was also a pretty long creek, so I felt like there was probably good diversity there. So, so we'll see how uh, day one went. One. Or is that you? Nope, that's not Come here, babe. Come here. Not hooked, bro. Yes. Huh? What are you doing? He was swimming away from me. He was like, uh, look inside his head. Yeah, let me get out of your way. You throw it right there. They're just sitting. They're sitting right where it drops off. There's a. On my map, there's a point right there. There's a point right there. And they're not big, but they're keepers. I'm right, oh, oh, ah, man, freaking missed it. Oh, there's one. Whoa, oh, that feels like a better one. Not even like swimming. What the hell? <laughs> I hate this type of fish. I do too, but, but it's awesome though when you catch them. It's necessary. Yeah, he ain't gonna be long enough. There's one. Oh yeah, boy. Give it another 10 minutes. We don't catch anything. It's taking a pee break. Oh, there's one. Drop shot. Is that a nice one? I don't know. Tiny little rod and it feels like a lot. Just be a keeper, that's all I want. She's a keeper. Huh? huh? Thirteen. Get it, get it, get it. You're slinging the boat. Oh, I got one too. What? I said I got one too. <laughs> Let's fish this. If we don't get a bite for another ten minutes, I'll stop. Let me get my fourth fish here. Yeah. What you got? Three? I thought you only had one a minute ago. Oh, that's right, you got that one. Okay. Keep going. All right, I'm gonna start going down the bank. All the stuff we talked about the other day. If you see them, I would keep your spoon on though, because in the middle of the creek, I suspect they're gonna be doing the same thing.
sucks they're all tiny. I'm not gonna mess with them more than 30. The huh? So I fished this creek channel in practice and caught a bunch of fish on it. It's right next to where the, the creek actually pulls up next to this shoreline. Um, went all the way down through here, spent a bunch of time on it, and then realized that essentially the fish had just pulled off of it. And we found them and started catching them. They're right there. They're right there. I just got one. I think. Or my A-Rage jacked up. Little one. Could be like perch or something with them. There we go. That's a big one, dude. Oh my gosh. He's not his lumps, he's not foul hooks. Don't let that guy get on that boot. Should we fish or should we like be quiet for a few? some of these tomorrow probably so we might need some of these tomorrow all right you're on guard duty we'll back off if I catch one more that doesn't help them we'll stop yep the smaller ones are up there yep what
like going crazy. Must be a spot or something. Dude, I got two. Uh, yep. Two spots. Nope, neither one of them are Help. Is that your first camper? Yep. Oh, one just got off. And neither one of them are I bet they'll be here tomorrow. If you soil up a mile, we won't catch them. Say, if you catch two more small ones, we probably should go find another one. There might be one on the left over there, though. Where the creek channel swings, there might be further over there. There might be some more. Right. Love you. I'll keep to you after I'm done. I think we're done at 3.30. Holy cow. Big bass just about jumped in my bag. Alright, I gotta go. Bye. So we had about two hours left and tried to strategize on where we should go. Didn't want to keep hitting the same stuff over and over since we were going to need it for tomorrow. Uh, so we decided that Tyler was going to go to the back of the creek. I was going to go out of the mouth of the creek uh, and try and do some uh, deeper docks and go around the corner. And as you can see, the wind is, is howling out on the main lake. And as soon as I get to this point uh, up ahead, it just, it was too much. So turned around, uh, wasted probably an hour and a half to two hours at the end of the day and ultimately so after day one, uh, I was sitting in 11th place and uh, about seven inches out of the lead, Jay Park caught a giant early, so he's he's definitely a hammer. So all these guys are, I mean, honestly, uh, they're all on fish. So gonna have to have a better day tomorrow and figure out where we can find some bigger fish.